So President Obama is ready to take an economic plunge that would make fearless Felix shudder. The president's, there he goes. The president says he'll veto any legislation blocking year-end tax hikes and spending cuts unless there's also a tax hike for the rich. So get ready to grab your parachute because we're getting closer and closer to jumping off the fiscal cliff. Joining us now is Pete Snyder, Fox News contributor and CEO of Disruptor Capital, chairman of Virginia Victory. Thanks so much for joining us. That all cannot possibly fit on a biz, but alas, <laughs> not we at will all. Dive Some in. of it's extracurricular. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Um, so President Obama says he's going to veto anything uh, you know that doesn't have a tax hike for the rich. Feels like we're going off this fiscal cliff. Is that wise? Uh, not at all. I mean, I think this could be the first double downgrade president that we've had in nearly 100 years, if not more. Um, uh, Barack Obama, I just don't understand the logic. He got whooped in the 2010 elections and came out of that and said, you know, our economy is in such bad shape. I'm going to allow the continuation of these tax breaks. Uh, and this tax relief, and what our economy is in worse shape now, Melissa. It is. And the it's it's in terrible shape, but there's there's tons of blame to go around. I mean, everybody who's in, basically everybody who works in Washington shares blame for what's going on right now, and especially for not, you know, putting on their big boy pants and coming up with a solution before we get this close to the cliff. So I, Melissa, I don't I don't disagree with you at all on that, but. You know, I believe in truth and advertising. I'm a former marketing exec. And, you know, in 2008, we heard time and time again, and millions of Americans bought into the concept of hope and change, and much more so a president that was actually going to change the culture of Washington and was actually going to unite the country versus dividing. And, and this is a president that had unlimited power, total control of Congress for the first two years, decided not to be a uniter and ramrodded Obamacare, didn't focus on the economy at all, um, and, and now is complaining that he can't quote unquote change Washington? No, uh, I mean, it, it's definitely a huge mess. What do you think is the solution? I mean, is there a compromise that could be had before we go, I mean, we had the clock up, it's getting there in there, look at the bottom of your screen, you can see that we've got 74 days, six hours, 29 minutes, and oh no, now only 21 seconds until we go flying off the side of that cliff. Is there a real solution and, and what do you think are the odds that something gets done? Uh, Melissa, there's a very clear solution for all of the quote-unquote shareholders out there in, in America, the voters, which is, you know, if, if the United States of America were a publicly traded company, the board of directors would fire this president uh, for, for his record, for what was promised on the way on the interview into the office, yeah. uh, and then for the dismal performance since. So in 19 days, we have a mechanism that can fix this. It, and in I the meantime, you, though, Melissa, I mean, in the meantime, you have companies that are already preparing, already putting together war sure. rooms based on the fiscal cliff. Um, you know, they're already dealing with costs. And if S and P and Moody's swoop in and downgrade the country before you know these idiots sort of get together and do something about it, we could see the same kind of damage that we saw with the debt ceiling, which you know e even the government blamed for slower GDP growth. You know, a lot of people say that's why the economy is in the trouble. One of the reasons why we haven't recovered quicker as we normally do out of sure. a deep recession like this is because of the debt ceiling crisis and now the fiscal cliff crisis. Well, and again, it goes back, Melissa, to leadership. And I think there is plenty of blame to go around in Washington, but any corporation or any country needs a leader who's willing to take action and also bring folks together. Yeah. And that's actually why Governor Romney was so successful as a governor. Uh, you know, he had 87 percent of, of uh, the uh, state house in Massachusetts is Democrat. I mean, they wanted that. They didn't want the guy to succeed. And he reached across the aisle and actually got a whole heck of a lot of things done. All right. That's what we need in America. We got to go. Pete Snyder, thanks for coming on. Thanks, Melissa.